Hello guys, welcome back to No Tech No Future. In today's video, let's see how to install MongoDB server in Ubuntu. So, open a terminal and type this command. I have given the command in the description. You can copy paste it. First, you need to enter this command. Once you are done, run sudo apt get update. So after adding the repo, when you run the sudo apt-get update, it will add that MongoDB repo in your Ubuntu machine. And then type sudo apt-get install -y mongodb org. If it gets failed to install, then you need to do this step. Here you can see that no pub key and you can see a key named here. So it's fourth line from the top, this key. You have to copy that key since that key is not added for that repo you need to copy that no public key and you run this command then you need to add the key to the repository by running this command now you can try install the mongodb using the same procedure So let's wait for the update to complete. Now let's try installing MongoDB sudo apt get install hyphen y mongodb org. As you can see, it will install correctly now. The key point is you need to add the repository and you need to add the public key for the repository so that Ubuntu machine will install MongoDB without any errors. Let's wait for the installation to complete. So once done, you can check the status of the MongoDB server using this command. So systemctl status mongodb. This will show the status. As you can see now, the MongoDB server is not started. So the active state is showing failed. You need to type this command sudo systemctl start mongodb. This will start the server. And once you start the server, the status should say active is equal to success. And if it still says failed, and you need to follow this one more step, just type this command ch1 iphone or and the directories of those two. I have given those in the description as well. Sorry, I need to run it as sudo. So once you run that command, when you give permission to those files, those two files, and then when you try starting the MongoDB server, it will get started without any errors. So you can see the active is showing active running. Thanks for watching, guys. Please do subscribe my channel.